Woods. Right. And I hesitate to say the word faux because they look totally real. Uh, nobody will know these are not real when exactly. you have them in your planters. But you don't have to water them or care for them in any way. Uh, they just look pretty. So we actually have from English Gardens a what we call a cone topiary, and it is available in three heights. There's one that's 24 inches, 30 inches, and 36 inches. The 36 inch one blew out of here so fast last year. They're all on four easy payments starting at just $12.25. And this is our good friend Janine Brillo who is here. Hi, honey. Always good to How see you. you. Too. We usually see her lounging in a bliss gravity free <laughs> recliner. Exactly. But she also brings us lots of other great gardening things. <laughs> right. So these are so cool and, I, and I really can't get over how real well, they look. Instant curb appeal, and mm -hmm. what's great is you don't need a green thumb. Doesn't matter if you have a brown thumb because you can't kill them. You don't have to worry about hardiness, zoning, wind, sun. These are amazing. Rick Vespa, my dear friend from English Gardens, yeah. he has a uh, nursery in Detroit. He okay. wanted to bring you these beautiful, lifelike boxwood topiaries because he wanted you to be able to have that instant beauty and sophistication. Right. And he really knocked it out of, park, out of the park on these because they are so amazing. Carolyn, I have these flanking my doorway in my urns. They look amazing. You can put them well, in the ground so they're indoor and I outdoor. Just want, if you could come in close for yep. one second. I just want when to you show do you. that, I want to show you See something. how I'm touching these? Mm -hmm. They're not stiff and plasticky feeling. I mean, I don't, I don't know what these are made out of, yeah. but they they feel like real leaves and they look like real leaves. Well, watch this. Stay right there, if you will, because here is a clipping from a real boxwood. So we just wanted to show you if we put that in there. Like, OK, it's like I mean, totally lost forever. Seriously, where did it go? Right. right. So that's how lifelike these are. They're amazing. Yeah. And they come with a six inch stake. I'll show you that because you can stake these in mm -hmm. the ground. Mm -hmm. So can we let me about yes. I come right here. To so the you can side put them so in the ground stake? or put them in a pot. Go ahead, yeah. wherever you right like here. to go, honey. So here okay. is um, here's how it's going to come. Right. And here's your six inch stake. All you're going to do is slide that right onto the bottom of your topiary. Then you have it. You can stake it into the ground. That's a six inch steak. Now, because I so want everybody easy. to know exactly what to expect. Yep. When these come out of the box, are mm -hmm. they kind of smushed and I need to fluff them out? I'll say it like this. You'll do very little fluffing, if okay. any. Right? All right. They, they look pretty good. And honestly, you really don't have to do much. I don't want you to get something that looks right. flat on one no. side and then think it's defective because it is it's up not. To you, you may have to a to little fluff bit. fluff a little bit so that they look like this. But that exactly. takes very little time on your part. Very little. And I will say that if you notice in the front, Carolyn, mm -hmm. we put so what I did was filler, thriller, thriller, filler, spiller. I love so it. So you have the height here. We use the 30 inches okay. and we put them in these beautiful black urns and then we filled it with these beautiful pink flowers and then the trailer, the spiller, is the ivy. It's so lifelike. This is lifelike rather. This is what it looks like when you go somewhere that's super elegant and it looks like, you know, you had someone come in and do this for you. Now, don't laugh, but I bought these last year and I put them in two ground stakes mm -hmm. in front of either side of my cute little dollhouse where okay. my geese live. I love it. Because my geese eat everything that's real. <laughs> and so their yard looks like barren brown. But they don't eat these. Well, you know what? We put <laughs> so them in green pots flanking the uh, front door right there. They and look they look great. great. You don't have to put them with anything else. Yeah. And you can mix these with real plants. You can put these right in the ground outside when it's cold, like right now it's freezing in Philadelphia area well, here. Well, let's look over you, here where our camera is. You can put them is. right in the ground. Okay. So how tall is this one? So that one is our, I believe that is, is the, the 36. Thir that's the 36. OK, if you want the 36, it's very limited already and it's sold out first last year. So please don't wait. Don't dilly dally. There's my first one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't dilly dally on the 36 inch and look how great it is in your mulch bed. And yep. please do not hesitate to mix these in with real plants. It looks amazing. Because they look totally real. Yeah. And maybe you just bought a new place and you don't want to wait for all the landscaping to fill in just put a few of these around and you have that as you said instant curb appeal and it's that instant English beauty they're yeah. known for their gardening mm -hmm. and they're known for the topiary and mm -hmm. the boxwoods if you prune a boxwood a real one obviously and you prune it and let's say you make a mistake they're so slow growing mm -hmm. that it takes forever to get the look again that you want well uh, speaking <laughs> of that you don't ever have to prune this one that's what I'm saying you don't have to hire somebody no to come over and trim it no pruning you don't have to worry about the hardiness your zoning yeah. 
rain, yeah. the sun, the wind. Mm -hmm. You have no worries. And look at that. It instantly gives you that curb appeal, and it really just ups your game when it comes to your outdoor decor. You know, th these faux boxwoods are so popular. If you go into Barb King's store, Valley Forge Flowers, oh, she yeah. sells the real ones, but she has a huge department of yep. the faux ones. Yes. And they fly out the door because fly. you buy them once you're done. <clears throat> you don't have to do any maintenance to them at all. Now, let me ask you this. Is this going to do any problem with fading in the sun or will the winter weather hurt this outside? So no, so you these are meant to be left outdoors. You can leave them out okay. um, so you don't have to worry. The other thing I wanted to tell you, if you do use them indoors, I have some indoors that flank my fireplace okay. in pretty pots, pretty uh -huh. urns. What you do is you just get a little bit of foam. You can get that at any garden All center. Right. I'm sorry, at any um, crafting store. Okay. Okay. I put put the foam in. You stake it right into the foam. Then you get moss. Same little um, center that you're going to go to. Same store. Okay. You put the moss around so you don't see the um, foam, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So in other words, you don't have to put dirt in a pot in yeah, the house. Right. Exactly. If you don't want to, you right. can put something else. But. Um, Put these in any type of pot you want or put them right into the ground. Absolutely. And you know, Janine's got all faux flowers in those displays. Great, but, but let me tell you something you <laughs> can put this. Mm -hmm. And plant your Gerber daisies oh, or some absolutely. kind of uh, trailing vines, your real sweet plants potato vine, your all creeping Jenny. It. You because could do real. Absolutely. This does not look fake. No. Even with real plants planted in the same pot. And you know what? So what I'd love too is that I have two black urns that flank my front door. For years, I couldn't get anything to grow in them, and I have a pretty good green thumb. Nothing would grow in yeah. them. I gave up. I put these in last year and the year before actually, and everyone says. That looks amazing. You're so good at it. And I'm like, oh, I know. Thank you so it much. It took like 2.3 seconds. But again, if we could just show you, Caroline, I just want to show you yeah. how real, okay. because here is a real, when we come back, um, but out front, indoor, outdoor. If you drove past that person's house, you would not think, oh, they have fake plants. Yeah. They look totally real. They look amazing. Here is a clipping <laughs> from a real boxwood. I just want to show you how lifelike each little leaf looks on here. Look at this. Stick it right in there. Would you even know? It's amazing. So that's how real these I are. I, don't, I, I didn't watch where you put it, and I have no idea where it is now. I know, and I'll tell you, every now um, and then when I look away, I can never find oh, it. No, <laughs> where did it go? Um, <laughs> so uh, these will be so impressive. You'll be amazed. If you want the 36-inch, a lot of people are buying more than one, and it's going quickly. We also have a 30-inch, which is right here. 36, mm -hmm. 30, and this little guy right here 24. is the 24. So there's something for everybody. I think they look good in like in groupings. I kind of like it too. I, 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 I'm telling of you, you cannot heights. go wrong with these. Yes. Make so, life easier. Uh, we don't have a ton of these for the season, so we just got them back. Stay in the ordering process and take advantage of four easy payments on those today from English Gardens. So we will see a cute little set of three table and chairs from Bliss with Janine later in the show. So we'll and see that. would be great flanking them. Totally. Thanks, Carol. So as promised, we have two beautiful items from Cottage Farms in the show.